afternoon everybody and this is Emma's four and we are getting ready for game night uh, my team the Miami Heat is playing tonight and so I thought it would be a great idea during my lunch break from my regular day job uh, to put on some game time makeup just to get festive for the occasion um, I'm going to be watching the game from my couch uh, but I'm still super excited about that uh, they're going up north to New York um, and so I just thought that I wanted to get my my excited groove on, get ready for this. So we're gonna do game day makeup. Um, so when ColourPop came out with these NBA palettes, a lot of people were saying, who asks for that? Well, me and other sports fans. Um, and I know by how uh, really depressed people were with other teams who didn't get a palette, that there's a lot of people out there that, that don't mind at all to have NBA game day makeup. So here we are. We're gonna use this, we're gonna use some new products that I've got and some old, and we are just gonna get festive. Um, so I'm wearing my uh, old, this is an old school, well, semi-old school uh, heat t-shirt. This is the Tyler Johnson will dunk on you uh, shirt. Uh, Tyler, unfortunately, is no longer with the heat, but my heart is always with him. Um, so we're gonna get ready. So I'm gonna remove my spectacles and get started. So um, I finally got the Lisa Eldridge foundation. So we're going to start with that. Um, it has been doing really pretty well. Um, it has kind of smaller pumps, so I'm doing two pumps. Um, but this goes on really nicely. I can apply it with my fingers. Um, it sets itself down, so there's no need to use powder for this. And it just looks really pretty. I like the fact that it's very light and it has good longevity on me. Um, I've had this on for at least nine hours one day and it looked great. Um, depending on, you know, if I've done anything, if I've eaten things with oil, I might have a little need to touch up through the chin area, but other than that, it's been really great. So I've really been enjoying this. Um, I believe I'm in shade six. There's not really much of a fragrance to it, which I appreciate. Okay. And there we go. And I could apply more to this or I could use a sponge if I needed to get a lighter sort of a, a coverage to it. Let me just have my cleansing towels right there. Um, so I also have a new bronzer. Um, I did pick up the LH Cosmetics bronzers. Um, I got the lightest shade, and I think that this is going to be too light. Um, my friend Z, uh, we had ordered her the next shade darker, and that one seems to be maybe more appropriate. This it has a really nice uh, kind of a sheen to it. It's mostly matte with just a little bit of sheen, but um, so we're going to see how it, it'll work. This may be a shade that would work when I'm kind of deep winter. Um, but as we're going into spring and summer and I'm getting outside more, I may need to go to that deeper shade as well. So, use this. Okay, so that's actually not too bad. Surprising, perhaps. I'm using an angle brush that's that's soft but fairly compact. I like to do that because with my cheeks and someone here, I'm, I'm losing some color. Um, so I have color here, but not color here. So I'm trying to get a pretty decent color read and then blend it out. Now I have seen the heat a couple of times here in LA, um, not this season. Uh, we just really haven't, haven't been out this season. We're still kind of in that you know, pandemic mindset. Um, so we just did not see them in person this year, but uh, we tend to go over. And when they're playing uh, the, generally, sometimes we'll go see them with the Lakers, but usually we, we try to see them with other people's because um, LeBron, who used to play for the Heat, uh, is now with the Lakers. So it's kind of like seeing your ex-girlfriend that you really loved that like, you split up and it wasn't like terrible, like, you know, but you know, it's still really hard to see your girlfriend with another guy. So anyway, um, I'm going to use the, the Freaky Peach 
uh, blush from one size. Um, and I'm going to use just some of the, the cream uh, with my fingers and then apply the other, the other blush. Just so I get that color read up top here, starting out. Now Miami, when they're at home, they've been doing white hot heat, uh, which they have their white, everybody just wears white. Um, and the team has white with the different colors in the, the sides of the uniform, um, the red and orange and black. Um, but they do have, the Miami, Miami Heat had the Heat Vice uniforms that were like that fuchsia and purple from like the whole 80s sort of the feeling to it, uh, which I, I really like those too. <laughs> um, but anyway, so at home they're doing the white hot heat um, and that's that's been fun. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go in with the actual, the powder blush from Freaky Peach. Powder over this. And I'm super excited. Um, we have some good momentum. Um, we've got Jimmy in playoff mode, uh, playoff Jimmy, which he says is not a thing, but technically it's a thing. <laughs> um, okay, now I'm gonna go in really lightly with the shimmery. So on the very top. Now I do have from ColourPop some heat glitter. I don't know if you guys can see that up on my top. Uh, that's merely decorative. I don't really like to put glitter on my face. Uh, my skin doesn't really love it, so I try try not to. But um, I do have gold glitter in case of emergency. <laughs> okay, so that's feeling like the blush. Let me. I just feel like I need a little more blush. I may be over blushing it, but I am excited about this. So maybe being flushed is okay. All right, so that's the one size Freaky Beach. Okay, for the palette. Now let's look at this. So we've got, this is the, the heat palette. Goes pretty deep and um, has the, those kind of peachy colors, has more of the, the um, maroon and then the deeper color and then a dark. This is the, and they're all, this darkest one is called South Beach and it has the, the shimmer in it. Um, and it's not, it's like a, a deep maroon black Kind of a mix with a shimmer in it so um, I'm gonna go go pretty hard I'm gonna use a black liner with this too um, so um, let's see and then I have some a gold color liner too that we're gonna play with uh, so there's my liners so let's go in with the let me grab my mirror we're gonna go in with peach as our our In our crease color. And even though we're in the crease, I'm using a fairly a stiffer angle brush so I can get the color to, to lay down. So we're getting a good color read of that uh, up into the, from the center. Okay, we'll go to the other side. Okay, and then next we're gonna come down, uh, we're gonna go into the heat culture, that shade right there. Um, I did read a great article about heat culture, about they're finally admitting heat culture is really a thing. Um, and it, it takes a specific kind of person to, to really thrive in heat culture. Um, but I did hear a, a sportscaster talking today about one of the things, you know, they talk a lot about conditioning and other, other elements, uh, desire to win, conditioning. Uh, being able to, to really 
grind it through a tough season uh, next man up so they're always looking to the bench to really come through for them I think we have an excellent bench this season um, but the other thing that the the sportscaster was bringing up today was the fact that um, the Heat do a great job at recruiting undrafted players people that didn't get drafted but have just an amazing amount of of desire to win to work hard um, and that they've done a really good job of recruiting those undrafted people um, that are really going to work hard for the team um, and are really going to do well. So I think that's the the Heat doing a good job of, of kind of recruitment and then uh, making sure that they're a good fit for that team culture. Um, people that you know, as, as the coach says, that kind of have a chip on their shoulder, like they weren't drafted and they really, you know, have this burning desire to be great. And so they're going to work super hard for the team. So anyway, um, I'm going to go Bayside. Well, no, I think I'm going to go Magic City for the front because I'm looking for the sparkle. Um, I'm going to just apply that with a finger for right now. They did a really good job with these palettes, like with the names and things like that, making them really team specific. Um, I liked the colors of the Lakers palette, but even though I live in LA, the Lakers are not my team. Um, but like, I couldn't bring myself to buy the palette because even though I love the colors, I'm like, oh, you can't, you can't buy the Lakers. Nope. Um, so I had to put the kibosh on that. But, uh, but anyway, they made uh, the Mavericks have a great palette. Looks really good. Um, So I don't know if they have other plans for increasing the, the number of teams that they're going to do. Um, I know that with this kind of collaboration with the NBA, um, the teams have to agree to it. So it could be that the other teams just didn't want to be involved. Um, and some teams do have it where they have where you can purchase uh, the sets of these. The sets came with like stickers and glitter and a couple of pencils. Um, and some different things. So it may be that, that some of them were going to have those available to purchase at some of their stores. I don't know, but I bought mine online from Colourpop. Um, I'm going to go in and just do my uh, my inner corner with 305. Uh, that's your, your area code there. Okay, so we've got that. And now I'm gonna look at the different liners um, that I'm gonna use here. Hang on just a second. So I have a black liner. I have my Laura Geller uh, Kajal. Um, or I could go in and do a lining with that deep sparkly color. Um, but this is the, um, it's Aerosol. I got this through, through Ipsy. Um, and this is going to be just a sparkling gold, gold-ish sort of liner. So I'm going to go in underneath and do that and then come back in with the, the black. Now you might ask, how did I become a Heat fan living in LA? Well, I didn't grow up in LA, so but I grew up in a state that didn't have any professional basketball teams or football teams or really any teams. Uh, so you had to pick other teams from different states uh, if you wanted a team. Um, and so when I was younger, I fell into that whole like uh, Boston Celtics sort of mayhem um, that happened. Okay, and then going in with the Laura Geller Kajal. Um, but as I got older, I didn't really fit as well with the Celtics. Uh, so, you know, I was kind of looking for a team in some ways. And I just enjoy watching basketball um, as a sport. But I didn't have my own team. And then I started dating my partner. 
and he grew up in Florida. Uh, he went to school in Michigan and then he moved out here to California. Uh, but he's been a Heat fan the whole time uh, since their inception. So like, it wasn't too hard for me to, to fall in love with the team. Like I really have enjoyed watching them. Uh, and I, I respect that Heat culture. I, I like the idea of the underdog in some ways, the undrafted. Um, and also their ability to grind and their ability to attract high level players also um, that are already established. So it's not a hard fit. Um, and I, I liked them before they went on the, the, the big three run, the LeBron uh, and Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh. So I feel like I'm not not like it's I'm being a Yankees fan because it's easy because they're winning. Um, sorry, shade thrown at Yankees fans, or not sorry, not sorry. Um, but uh, I really I enjoy watching the team. I enjoy being a fan. Um, okay, so I think that actually is not too bad just doing that. Um, so I think I'm going to forego the the uh, darker sparkly parts um, and just do some mascara, and then we're going to go to the lips. Um, so, you know, I've really gotten a chance to love the team. I um, loved watching them in the bubble. They were just on fire. Uh, and then not really pulling it out at the last minute, but we were pretty beat up um, in the bubble by the time we got to the, the final playoffs. Um, we were pretty, pretty beat up. Um, so I'm not surprised necessarily that we, we lost in the finals, but... Um, this year, you never know, could be a, a repeat of that. I'm gonna knock on wood here just because I don't wanna jinx anything. Um, but not a repeat of us being beat up when we get to the finals, but the, you know, we'll meet the finals. We may meet the Lakers in the finals or whoever, we may be in the finals. So that's, that's always the hope of the fan is that you make it all the way. Um, and you know, we've been so close in the last couple of years that it's just gonna be really nice to to finally get back up. And I mean, from growing up, my football team was the Seattle Seahawks and this was before they won anything where they went years and years without winning anything. And so I know what it is to be a fan of a team that doesn't win. Um, and then when they ended up finally going to the Super Bowl, I was, and all these people were like, oh, we're Seahawks fans. I'm like, no, you're not. You're not fans. You weren't with them when they were losers. <laughs> so, um, you know, <laughs> it's all weird how we get with our fandom. But anyway, lips. So I had pulled out uh, Charlotte Tilbury. This is the collagen bath with the walk of shame. Now, if I wanted just something that I could easily apply that was really comfortable, give me a little bit of plumping, I would go for a walk of sh walk of no shame. Because uh, it would just give me that nice glossy look, but a little bit of color so I could see, you know, a little bit of that reddish berry tone. So that's just you know, like if I wanted something, this is a mini size. Uh, that I picked up. There was a Christmas uh, trio set of minis and I picked this up and this makes a lovely on the go. So like if I were going to the the stadium and I just wanted, you know, light wash of color, comfortable, something I could reapply, um, I would be taking the, the Walk of No Shame. <laughs> um, and I could apply the Walk of No Shame lip liner as well and have more definition, a little more color of the red read, but I could just wear this if I wanted to be super non-fussy. Um, so there's that, but I do have other options. And what I looked at for this, um, I first looked at, this is the, the one size, the Lip Snatchers. Um, this is kind of the, the berry red color, but it's more, it's not as bright red as the Disney collab one. Uh, but it's still not completely berry where it's purpley red. Um, so, and it has the, the gloss on the other end. So I could just go, this is a super comfortable liquid lip. Kind of that light powdery formula. And it goes on in more of that berry red. So I could go that way. And then 
This is the gloss that goes with it. Kind of the gloss lightens up the color to it a little bit. Um, you could just wear the gloss too. This has kind of the multicolor pinpoint glossiness to it. Also very portable because you can just close it up. But anyway, that's the, the gloss that goes with the shade of the lip. But I also just got um, from Lisa Eldridge, got Velvet Ribbon. And this is a, a brighter, it's still pre a pretty deep red. Um, and it's got the great gold packaging. Um, but this is the, the red shade of the lipstick. It's a little bit, just a tiny bit warmer and a tiny bit lighter. Um, something that you, it is really pretty long wearing. This is in the velvet uh, version. Uh, but long wearing, it's a little bit lighter. And I think because if I were going to the stadium and I wanted something that was bulletproof, I would just use this uh, in the, the liquid lipstick part of it because it, it doesn't really transfer. It's pretty, pretty transfer proof, pretty bulletproof. Not as bulletproof as the KVD, as I generally say, um, but it wears really well and you could eat stuff with it and it'd be fine. Um, because I'm gonna be at home, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with uh, the Velvet Ribbon um, for my color. So let me really quick wipe off the Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, I'm gonna dry it. So we're gonna have Lisa Eldridge, both the complexion product and the the lip color. So this is Velvet Ribbon. Um, I could use a lip liner. Let's see. This is the one ColourPop from the uh, Snow White collection. Um, this one is in that kind of a deep red too. If you wanted to use this, if you didn't have the, the Charlotte Tilbury, the Walk of No Shame, um, this is the deeper berry color from, uh, this is the, in the Snow White collection, the one for the, the queen, the evil queen. Um, so you could use that. Um, I'm just going to put on the velvet ribbon and see where it goes. If I need to add a, a liner to clean it up afterwards, I can. <clears throat> so here we go. And with these, you can tap them out with your finger if you want to just have a, a light read. Okay, I like that. And I can redo this um, since I'm at home. Okay, what do we think? Um, I'll get a little bit closer to you so you can see. It's not a very complicated look. And like I said, I, I like having the bold lip um, and then the, the deeper eye. We could deepen up the eye and go for a lighter lip if we wanted to do that. And um, we could bring in that sparkly black and then just do the the Charlotte Tilbury walk of no shame with the collagen lip balm um, but I like this really poppy red you know goes with the shirt uh, so let me let me get a little closer and, and show you don't panic okay so I think I could probably use a little more um, of the the bronzer perhaps around my face, but I like the the lighter tone uh, with a deeper lip of the complexion sort of thing um, and that little bit of that freaky peach. Um, so there we are. I am ready. Um, that means I've, I've got my game face on I have, now all I have to do is work for a couple more hours and then I will be off and I will be on my couch cheering for the heat. So anyway, um, even if you you don't love sportsing and those sorts of things. Um, you can always put on a game day face if you have some sort of a challenge that you need to, to just look exceptional for and be ready to grind yourself. Um, you can do that, be your own team. So anyway, hope everyone is doing well. Go eat <laughs> and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.